what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Tyler Perry recently appeared on T.I.'s Expeditiously podcast, where he opened up about the criticism he's received over the years for wearing a dress whenever he plays the role of Madea. Dave Chappelle, a few years ago, talked about how it is his belief that the majority of Black male actors in Hollywood has to wear a dress if they want to be successful. He said this after revealing that Hollywood tried to make him put on a dress and he vehemently refused. Tyler Perry said, listen, man, Dave Chappelle is one of the most brilliant people I've ever met in my life. Not just in comedy, but the man is smart, a heavy, brilliant thinker. So that's the case in Hollywood then, okay, that's the case. But you gotta understand, that's not the case with me. Nobody owned the dress but me. Nobody told me a $2 billion franchise. Nobody told me to put it on. Nobody makes me put it on. On stage, black man owned the whole show. It was my choice. So when I got to Hollywood and wanted to do Diary of a Mad Woman, it was my choice. 19 movies since then, it's been my choice. And as for Madea, he said, I'm not a man who enjoys wearing a dress. For me, an actor, it's a costume. It's like if somebody goes to work at Walmart, they put on their uniform. For me, that's putting on a uniform, going out and making people laugh, lifting them up, encouraging them. The good that it does for so many people. What's the verdict, fam? You buying it? You with it? Is it cool? We tripping? Let me know what you think about this. I'll tell you what I think. I don't enjoy seeing men wearing dresses. I don't laugh at men wearing dresses. It's not funny to me. You know, it's just, I just never found it funny when dudes put on dresses and wigs and makeup and high heels and any type of stuff that traditionally women wear. Women apparel. I don't find it entertaining. However, I can relate to the Madea character. I'm gonna trip y'all out right quick. We called my grandmother Madea. She looked like the Madea character. She had the wig. She had the dress code. She had the pistol in the pocket. She had the skin tone. She had the height of Madea or Tyler Perry. So I saw a lot of my grandmother in her, in Tyler Perry, the role of Madea. I saw my grandmother. So I was conflicted because I'm like, you know, this reminds me of my grandmother, and that is humorous. But I just can't get to a point where I really appreciate a dude wearing a dress. To me, it's almost like also, besides the whole masculinity thing, it's kind of like you're stealing a role from a woman. Like, why should a man dress up like a woman? Why not just get a, a woman to play the role? It's kind of like a white person dressing up in blackface, trying to play a black person. Why not just get a black person to play the role? Wouldn't that make sense? It's almost like stealing the role from a black person that's very capable of playing that role. Now, I know how some people are, I mean, you know, in the black community and probably the world over, men dressing up like women I mean, it's just gut-busting funny to a lot of people, especially women. They love to see that. But it's something to me that's emasculating about it. You know, I just look at it like, okay, 
And I know in Hollywood, they like to put you on the dress because they feel like once they put you on the dress, they can trust you because they have basically stripped you down, stripped your manhood down. So they feel like, okay, we got them where we want them at now. I wonder how Denzel got through it all those years. You know, how did he do it? None of those type of funny bunny type scenes, no dresses, just honorable, upright roles. Well, except the uh, training day. That wasn't really an honorable role. He played a criminal cop, which he coincidentally got an Oscar for. His first, I think it was well, his first leading Oscar, leading male uh, Oscar role. His leading male Oscar, you know. Yeah, I'm just I'm just not buying the whole the, the male the man wearing a, a, a dress and that's a costume thing. Now, some of these dudes like wearing dresses. Uh, I thought it was noteworthy that dude said, I don't like wearing dresses. You know, I don't like in and I don't like wearing dresses. I'm playing a role. But some of these dudes like putting on dresses. You know, they like it. They can't wait to Halloween come around so they can have an excuse. Yeah. But I, it ain't for me, though. Uh, I just don't get enjoyment. I don't see any entertainment in dudes wearing dresses. And, you know, having said that, you know, you know, I'm, I'm you know, I guess I, I could say that uh, you can't knock dude for getting his bread. You know, he's created a lot of opportunities in Hollywood for black actors who would otherwise not have those roles. I don't know, you know, at, at the end of the day, for me, I just, I find it suspicious anytime someone is critical of somebody and they start talking about money, you know, as if the money justifies them doing something that's suspicious, you know, us or, or participating in some type of transgression. But what do y'all think? Let me know, let me know, let me know. Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? <laughs>